A gacha, and he's already produced another crystal. An ascendant gacha crystal? Oh, baby, come on. Ready, guys, ready? <laughs> oh, that's great. We just got an ascended freaking handgun. <laughs> 435 damage. That's not even with his crafting skill bumped up at all. Oh my god, these guys are amazing. So broken, but so amazing. World. What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with some more extinction and I really do hope we're going the right way right now. So we're currently on our way to the sunken forest, I hope. I thought this was the way to the sunken forest. I may be incorrect Mundo in assuming so. Where the heck? Wait, what? Wasn't the sunken forest over here? I could have sworn it was. So anyway. Today's plan is we are going to go tame up a gacha, or maybe more than one. Is this a sunken forest? Yeah, this is a sunken forest. Okay, I knew we were going the right way. So yeah, so we've got a crap ton of snow owl pellet. You can see there we've got quite a lot, as well as our very own snow owl that we can just force feed to get some more pellets. And uh, yeah, well, pretty much you guys know the gist with the gachas. They are absolutely uh, ridiculous, pretty much, yeah. That pretty much sums up how powerful the gachas are. Because they've got the ability to pretty much spawn in a bunch of loot for you. So, we've got one Pokeball. We still haven't managed to find any uh, any OSDs, any orbital supply drops, which is a bit of a shame. But we do have the one Pokeball, which means we can tame one Gacha and bring it with us. If we can find one. That is the first problem we must face. Uh, but other than that, there's really nothing else we need to worry about in terms of taming up the Gacha. Except for probably Raptors. Should probably worry about raptors because, uh, well, there's apparently a lot of these down in the sunken forest. Now, if I'm correct, he should be spitting out some more. You gonna spit out some more pellets, buddy? You gonna spit them out? Spit out the pellets? Okay! Apparently, our snow owl is uh, feeling a little bit unrowdy today. He doesn't want to spit out pellets for us. So, yeah, I don't think it matters what level the gacha is that you tame up. I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't think that makes a difference in what it produces or, like, the quality, as far as I'm aware. So we could essentially just tame up a ton of really anything. Whose base is this? I bet you I know who's... Yep, call me daddy. Look at the gatches he's got. He's got three gatches. He's definitely prepared, as well as the Valenosaurs. How did he get the Valenosaurs down here? That's what I want to know. Well, we've got a 194. We've got a 217. 217? Damn. And a 200. Alrighty, well, someone's been busy taming up some Valenosaurs. I still see no Snow Owl, though. Okay, we don't care about that. We want the Gacha. We need to find a Gacha. Uh, oh, here we go. This guy's right stuck in there. What level are you, big guy? 25. I don't know if this is a decent level to, to, to tame up or not. Are you, like, really stuck in there, buddy? No, you seem pretty good. Alright. Might as well. What the hell? Level 25, I don't know if levels play a thingy majiggy, a role in the quality of loot, actually. Let's go take a look at Daddy's. Let's go take a look at Daddy's uh, gachas, see what their levels are. Because then maybe we can go off that. What do we got? We got a 222, a 78, and a 72. Jesus Christ, that's a big difference, a 222. So it doesn't look like it makes much of a difference, I must say. I don't know, let's, let's, hey big guy, you hungry? I got some snow out poo for you. You want some snow owl poo? Can we take your crystal? Don't aggro at me. I threw you some snow owl pellets. You gonna come eat them, buddy? Oh, there we go. Oh, what? That's it? 12%? Okay, uh, we're gonna need some more pellets. Owl, come back. Where is he? Does he just continuously eat? Does he not have any... Land, you stupid owl. Hey buddy, I got some more pellets for ya. Oh, that's the wrong button. Bear with me. Here you go. Here you go. Have your snow owl pellets? That's it. Enjoy them. Lick those fingers. Mmm, delicious. I'm sure. Alright. We're gonna chuck down a whole heap, because whatever he doesn't eat, I guess, we'll just, um... Go into his inventory. To turn into items, and we're just gonna chuck some meat down. Here you go, buddy. How's he looking? What's his taming effectiveness at? He's at 47%. Going up? 
47. Is he eating? Buddy, can you eat your snow owl pellets that we got for you? I don't even know if he's eating these. It doesn't look like it because there's a ton of stuff on the floor. Okay, we're going to pick all this up again. Maybe it's because it's dropped from our ours inventory, not our inventory. I don't like how he's in that little corner. It's annoying because I can't see what items we have on the floor. Hey bud, you want, you want, I got some more poo for ya. Some up chuck. Or is that taming him? Okay, that's taming him, so that's better. Alright, and a couple more. There you go, big guy. And in any moment now, we should have a gacha. I hope. And, okay, I've only got three more pellets left. You're going to have to make do with that. There we go, awesome. Alright, so he's tamed up. Uh, let's take a look at what he can produce. Production? Fungal wood, thatch, flint, oil, congealed gas balls, black pearls. Awesome. I really couldn't care about the fungal wood, thatch, and flint, but the oil, the congealed gas balls, and the black pearls are really going to come in handy. Mainly because of the fact that you can get the black pearls. That's pretty much what you need for tech, like tech galore. So we're going to chuck that in there and in there. Alright, I want to see what he actually gave us. See if there's anything here. We got 49 thatch from it. Yay! That's exciting. Alright, so he's eating his uh, his poo. Oh no, we missed out on the snow owl pellet. Whoa. Whoa, cue the lag. What the hell? Okay. If we force feed our owl, does that make him up chuck pellets more? Does it? Maybe? Possibly? Nah. Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, you're a cutie, aren't you? Okay, so, uh, well, that's successful. We've successfully tamed up ourselves a gacha, and he's already produced another crystal. An ascendant gacha crystal? Oh, baby, come on. Ready, guys, ready? <laughs> oh, that's great. We just got an ascendant freaking handgun. <laughs> 435 damage. That's not even with his crafting skill bumped up at all. Oh, my God, these guys are amazing. So broken, but so amazing. All right, we're gonna bring this guy with us. I kind of want him to produce one more crystal before we uh, before we stick him in the ball, because I just want to see what he can give us. But well, we definitely need to start stockpiling our, uh, our snow output. We had a ton of it, as you guys saw. That's pretty much how we tamed up this guy. There we go. We got some more poo for our snow out. There it is. There. All right. We need it. It looks like he's stuck. He's stuck in there, big guy. I would say so. Yeah, he's stuck. Oh, he's produced another crystal. I heard it break off. Mastercraft? It looks like a Mastercraft item or a Ramshackle. One of the two. Let's just finish breaking him out of here. How'd you get? Come on. And you should be free. All right, let's get this last crystal. Is it, what is it, Mastercraft? Mastercraft. All right, guys, place your bets. What do we think we're going to get? Oh, this is hilarious. So for like one Snow Owl pellet, he makes like one really high tier item. All right, you good to come out now, big guy? There we go. Awesome. All right, and Mastercraft item, what do we get? Ascended Soul Rifle. Okay. <laughs> Mastercraft Crystal, Ascended Assault Rifle. I ain't going to complain. So what I'm thinking we do with this stuff is I'm thinking we put it through a grinder. Now, the reason I think we should do that is because we're going to get a lot of stuff from doing that. Like, we'll get a lot of resources back from putting it through the grinder. So I think that's probably our best course of action. I think that's something that we should do. We're going to need to get this guy out, though, into the Pokeball, I mean, because he's just getting stuck on everything. But I want to see, I want to get one more item off him. And, all right, you're free to go, buddy. We're going to make you a saddle. Is he, oh, I think he's producing another crystal for us. Yep, that, that means there's a crystal formant. Is it going to pop off? Yep, it just popped off. I heard it. Okay, where is it? Where's our crystal? Where'd it go? You got, where'd you, you're holding out on us now? We tamed you up, and you're telling me you got no crystals for us. Okay. He's in the cleat. At least now if a crystal pops off, we'll be able to see it. He's got, any, he's got one more pellet in him. There's the crystal. I see it. What is it? Is it? It's just a primitive. So this is probably an item, like one of the items he produces. 60 oil. Yeah, so it's 60 oil. Okay! 
Honestly, I'm happy with this dude. We got the oil, we got the black pearls. <laughs> We've already got him two ascendant weapons. Like, you, you can't really ask for more. Oh, here he goes. He's going to make another crystal for us. Be an ascendant. Send an item. Here it comes. Come on, big guy. Is it going to pop off? Popping off? Nope. Snow Owl, can you make any more pellets for us? We're going to need to tame up some low level Snow Owl. Snow Owls. And what we'll do is we'll just set up a farm of them. So we'll keep the Snow Owls like real close range in front of some gachas. We're going to have to get more than one gacha. But for now he'll do. And what we'll do is we'll set up the Snow Owls with a leash. And we'll get the Snow Owls and we'll set them up so that they just poo like this. Oh wait, no, we need to set them front facing. We'll set them up so they poo like this and then the gachas will just straight up collect them. This is great. Alright, he's got a level, guys. We know what we're going to pump. Crafting skill. Yeah, baby. Got an extra 1%. Let's see what else he can produce for us. So, we're probably going to hang around him. I don't know. I mean, we might as well chuck some meat down. I wonder what happens if we feed him one of the Ascendant items. Does that technically count as him eating it, then? Will he eat that? That's, that's a curious question I have. What do we think we'd get more of? More parts for that or for that? I'm gonna chuck. I'm gonna chuck that. I wanna see if he eats it. Is he gonna pick it up? Okay, so he's he's gonna eat it. You know what? I'm not gonna risk it. Let's hold on to that for now. We'll hold on to it. He's got some raw meat. I wanna see if he's gonna produce another crystal. So guys, we're gonna chill around here. I might see if we can find another gacha to tame up, maybe? Maybe do that in the meantime. While this guy goes about producing his crystals, we should remember where he is. But um, if we can get another gacha, I'd be, I'd be cheering. Oh, but then we can't transport him. That's the only problem. Hmm. We don't have any more Pokeballs. We only got the one Pokeball. So we're going to have to do like a return trip. Uh, honestly, I probably can't be bothered doing that. I th I'm happy with that one gacha. That's already given us two Ascended items. It's <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Uh, anything down here? Is there anything else around this? Oh, we can hit up some beaver dams, I suppose. Yeah, mm, possibly. Yeah, we can do some beaver dams. We got quite a few, quite a bit of cementing paste already back in the smithy at home. Uh, do we need more cementing paste? Oh, might as well. We'll grab the silica pearls as well. We're gonna need those for electronics eventually. And give me that. But now that we've got our Anki, which yeah, I'll show you guys that it tamed up. Now that we've got our Anki, we can. Uh, we can harvest the street posts, the lamp posts around our base area. Oh, the tables. There's like a ton of tables that spawn in just down the little ramp thing. And we can pretty much just harvest those for a ton of electronics, I'm pretty sure, with our Anki. Is that... Oh, it's just a metal note. I thought that was an Ovis. So, yeah, I'm pretty keen for that. Um, I'm just trying to think what the best way is to produce a ton of snow owl pellets. Tame a ton of snow owls and then what? Just make them use up their stamina? Because force feeding doesn't have the same effect like it does on uh, Fiomias or anything like that with the snow owls. So I think that might be our best bet. Is this crystal actually stuck inside of him? Is that why we haven't seen one yet? Come with me, big guy. Let's see if we're right. Uh, nope. I think it just means he's in the process of making one. Oh, he got a snow owl pellet. So he picked it up from the owl. Oh, is he going to pick this one up? You gonna pick it up, buddy? You got one. Is he gonna pick this up? No. Oh. Well, we'll put this in your inventory. Uh, there you go. Enjoy that, buddy. You have two snow owl pellets now. Now produce daddy some crystals. Give me all your crystals. Alrighty, guys. So, we're back now, and uh, we've been flying around for a bit of time. Seeing if we could find any more uh, gatches. And this is literally the first one that we've found. Oh. For that. And this is, yeah, like I was saying before these rude confies interrupted us, this is like the first one we've seen in quite a bit of time. So we're going to try and tame him up. We've got a bit of metal and stone in our inventories that we're going to hope can tame him up. And I'm hoping that our snow owl can provide us with some more pellets. Snow owl, do you feel so kind and generous to do so right now? Nope, it doesn't look like it. Okay. We managed to get a gacha crystal off this one. I want to see what do we get. We got stone. Okay, well that's not exciting. I mean, I guess we could feed it to him now. Let's see if he comes and gets it. You gotta come eat our stone? No? 
We've got Yummy Stone for you, big guy. You want some stone? He's level 90, so I don't know if he's going to take longer to tame. I'm not really sure. Is he picking it up? Okay, he's at 15%. If he picks these up, we'll know it's working. Okay, so it is working, but... I don't know how, if that makes sense. Alright, drop that as well. He's at 30%, 38%. So, he hasn't even touched the rocks or the metal. What's, what's he feeding then? What's he eating? Is he breaking it down by... Oh, okay, so he's actually eating it by, like, an amount. So he's only eating it, like, by 25 and stuff like that. So if we just leave him there for the time being, and we just go about harvesting some more stone, we should be able to finish getting enough stone to tame him up by the time he's finished eating everything that we put on the floor for him, I suppose. That should be enough stone. Was that yummy, big guy? Yeah, I've got some more stone for you. Eat up. So has he still got... So he's still got this stuff here. He's not eating... What's he eating, then? I mean, he's taming. I'm not complaining, but he is losing a bit of effectiveness. But from what I've been able to tell, it doesn't really make much of a difference how much uh, taming effectiveness they've got. From what I've been able to tell, and, like, it makes no difference to the items that they produce. So, there we go! Two catches! Done! Uh, is he going to pick up the rest of this stuff so it doesn't go to waste? Pick it up, buddy. Pick it up, big guy. No, you don't want to? Alright, well... I mean, oh, that's probably what tamed him, the stone and the metal. Here you go, mate. Take some more stone and metal. You can take it. You're just going to stand there and look at me, you weirdo. You adorable weirdo. Alright, what can this one produce? So we've got obsidian, silk, blue crystallized sap, stone, wood, and salt. And not the best. If anything, we'd probably use him just for the obsidian and maybe the silk. I do like our other one better. He is much better with his, uh... With his black pearls and everything like that. Uh, do you have any more snow out pellets? Where are you, big guy? Any more pellets for us? Nope. Okay, is he producing another crystal? Let's just kill this troll. Bloody snow owl's attacks are so far. Get him, gacha! Yeah, you're destroying. Alright. That's dead. Are you gonna produce any pellets for us, big guy? Come on, snow owl. You know you want to. Give us the pellet. Okay, he's not giving us any balance. Oh, here we go. Our gacha is producing something, though. He's gonna pop off. Yep, there we go. Is it just a normal crystal? It is, it's just a normal crystal. Aww, all together now. Aww. What did we get? Blue crystallized sap. Alright, so what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna grab his inventory, and we're gonna take this guy back to... Back to our other one, and then we're going to go about bringing these guys, ferrying these guys all the way back to base. We're going to have to do it one at a time because we've only got the one cryopod. But, I mean, two gatches for the time being, is worth it. Now, we just have to try and remember where we teamed up our other gacha. Because I may or may not have slightly forgotten where we left him. So, whoopsies, I'm secretly hoping that he's produced a, another Ascendant Crystal for us, so we can get some real good loot out of it. Uh, he's hoping, my fingers are crossed. But uh, yeah, we're going to fly back to him, and then we'll fly back to base, transporting these guys one at a time. Oh my god, it's going to take us forever. And uh, yeah, hopefully then we should have some decent stuff. And then we're going to go on a taming spree, probably next episode, and just tame up a ton of Snow Owls, just to utilize the gachas to the best of their ability. All right, we're back here to our other gacha, and he has produced a crystal. What is it? Is it just a normal gacha crystal? Oh, it's a primitive gacha. Does that mean it's something? We got 41 oil. Okay, so I still don't know how these gachas work, but uh, we'll get this guy back to base. He's still got three pellets on him, so we're going to grab those off him because we're going to have to take him uh, thingy, so we might as well just leave him there. All right, so we're going to fly back to base now and drop these guys off. Well, this guy off anyway. Alrighty, guys, and we're back at base with our two brand new gachas. These guys are heckin' adorable. Ooh, ooh, pop a crystal for daddy. Give me a crystal, big guy. Uh, these guys are both loaded with snow owl pellets. Now, if you guys aren't sure on how to get a lot of snow owl pellets, pretty much uh, what you need to do is either well, you need to have a snow owl to begin with, and then once you've got your snow owl, you can pretty much work from there. Now, 
Okay, that was 105 fungal, that was a bit disappointing. Now, once you've got your snow owl, all you need to do is jump on it, and the more stamina it has, the more pellets it will produce. Now, make sure it has quite a lot of food in its inventory. You can see here, owls has tons. Next up, all you need to do is make sure you do it away from your gatches if you've got any, is to trigger their healing effect. Now, using their healing effect lowers their stamina at a really fast rate, much faster than flying around and dive bombing and attacking like that. So you're better off using the freezing attack, which heals your allied dinosaurs, you can see there. Now, what will happen is once his stamina depletes, he'll obviously eat to replete his stamina. And you can see that he just poops out, well, he spits out his pellets. Just from that alone, we've gotten three pellets. Now, once you've done it, you can then do it again. You've got a minute despawn timer on the pellets. So you can normally get about three rounds in before the pellets start despawning. So you can see here, our stamina has just run out again. And all he'll do is eat, and he'll poop out his pellets every time he eats. Now, it's best to stay on the actual snow owl while this happens. For some reason, it just works faster and better when you're actually riding it and not hopping off and gathering the pellets every time he spits them out. Because it delays him for some reason in terms of spitting them out. But yeah, you can see there that this is the easiest way to go about getting the pellets. Now, if you've obviously got a tribe full of tribemates, well, you can do this with them and their snow owls. You can see there, just from, what, a minute, we've managed to get nine snow owl pellets. Now, whether or not this will affect the gatches spawn things, you can see that we had three seconds left to go on some of those pellets. But uh, one of them despawned by the looks of it. But still, you can see that he's just eaten again. And yeah, the more snow owls you've got, the uh, faster this will obviously go. And you can see here that our gatches, we've got a ton of snow owl pellets. So whether it be for fertilizer or for your gatches, you definitely just want to get as much snow owl pellets as possible because it acts as their kibble. So yeah, that's all you guys really need to know about um, getting all the snow owl pellets that you could possibly want. But uh, yeah guys, now that we've got the gatches here, I think we're going to call it a day. We've got some pretty good loot off them so far. We've got in the Ascendant Fabby Pistol and the Ascendant Assault Rifle. And I'm hoping that while we're gone, they're actually going to uh, produce some more crystals for us. Hopefully some more Ascendant stuff. I'm not going to complain, even if it's like Apprentice stuff. We do need some different picks and some crossbows as well. So yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. Oh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. And I got this soda,